Yo, this is Christian. In this video, I'm going to tell you what is the number one thing that you can do right now to become a remote developer. So I'm going to talk on something that's called accountability. Okay. So I know most of you think that, okay, if I'm just starting out, I just have to be disciplined and whatnot. I have to exercise my willpower in order to stay in front of my computer and do the actual work that I have to do. But in reality, you don't need that. And actually discipline is like some sort of resource that you have and it's very, very limited and your willpower as well comes with that. Okay. So you do not want to rely on that. Now I'm going to tell you a story about a very famous guy. I'm not going to tell his name because you probably never heard of him. He's famous uh, in a certain industry or in a certain space. Uh, and this guy is like a multi, multi millionaire. He's also struggling with doing the work. Okay. Because we just want to chill out and, you know, hang out and do nothing. Okay. That's like the default human behavior. But what he did, he paid a guy, a coach or something like that. And that guy is literally sitting with him in the room to make sure that he's doing the task that he has to do. Okay. So this guy, the millionaire guy has like a to-do list, you know, with things that he has to know to do every day. And he has someone that's looking at him every day. And uh, this guy has like authority over him. And because of the guy that's uh, looking at him, he's being held accountable and he's doing the work. So looking at this guy, which is like a case study, right? Super successful, a lot of money. He impacted a bunch of people. He changed the lives a lot of a lot of people. If this guy needs someone to hold him accountable, what does that say about you? What does that say about me? Okay. I'm not saying go ahead and hire someone to look at you, you know, uh, but what I'm saying is that it's defaulted in our brain to need someone to look up to, you know, we need some sort of authority for most people. Some people, you know, not me, don't need that. And they are just self, how can I say self uh, motivated, you know, they, they don't need accountability because they are holding themselves accountable. But those people are very rare. Maybe I would say 1% and whatnot. Let me tell you how you can get the same sort of accountability, even though you shouldn't, I mean, even though you cannot hire a coach. Okay. Cause that's like, thousands of dollars per month that you need to spend on that. So the best way to do it is to have a buddy of yours. Okay. So if you're in a coding community and whatever, find someone that can hold you accountable. Okay. Why I'm not, I'm not saying like a random body that you have is because that other person has to do the same thing as you. So you can hold each other accountable. Let me explain you a simple accountability system that you can follow. Okay. So one day before you just decide, okay, at this time, I'm going to do this. 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 Okay. You have like multiple checkpoints throughout the day. Whenever that checkpoints comes, you have to send some sort of message or a picture or whatever to your accountability partner. And that accountability partner is going to send one to you. Okay. In this way, you hold each other accountable. And then if you fail, okay. Or if you lie about doing the task that you're supposed to doing, you know that either you or him is a failure. Okay. If you are anything like me, you do not want to feel like a failure. Okay. You want to feel like an accomplished person. This thing has to feel painful for you. Okay. It has to be f painful. It cannot be just, Oh, I'm going to do something. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, you cannot be like a pansy about it. You need to be like serious about it because you know what? At the end of the day, like making a lot of money and having freedom and time freedom and location freedom and all this stuff is quite important. If you've never experienced it, you don't know how it is. But once you have it, if you have to go back to a job, if you have to commute every day, if you have to make like half the money that the developer would make, that would feel painful. Okay. So you need to remind yourself like what's going to happen if you do not make this change. We are motivated by pain more than by gain. Okay. You need to make your current situation so awful, so disgusting that quitting and failing on your accountability partner is not an option. Most people do not realize how bad it is not to have a lot of money. Okay. Or most people don't realize how bad it is to commute because they've been commuting their entire lives. Okay. Since, you know, uh, kindergarten or whatever. Yeah. Your parents were taking you from home to kindergarten, from home to school, from college campus to the freaking campus. You always had to go somewhere. You've been programmed like that. And then if you've never experienced working from home, being at home, being on a beach, being in Thailand, being in Bali, being in Croatia, being anywhere else, but 
a physical place where you have to be, you, you don't know how that feels. So you need to like teach yourself this situation that I'm in right now. I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful that I can make money, okay, from this job, but I'm not gonna settle for that. And an accountability partner is gonna help you massively. Another thing that I wanna tell you is that you need to find some sort of dark inspiration in, in yourself, okay? So this again touches on this idea that, hey, I'm not motivated by gain as much as I'm by pain. Imagine yourself getting to that point where you have the stuff that you wanted. How would that make people around you feel? Okay, maybe you always wanted your, to make your parents proud of yourself. Okay, maybe you're in your 20s, right? And you decided, hey, I'm not gonna go to university and I'm gonna do something of myself. And now your parents can see like what you've done, okay? Or maybe, you know, if you are in your 30s and you have kids and whatnot, making like sure that, hey, I can take care of my kids because I've done this thing, you know? You need to tap into that power and to that, into those feelings because you are not a logical robot, okay? You are a human with emotions and you need to learn how to manipulate your emotions to get what you want from yourself, okay? This is very important. It's like psychological tricks that probably you are or not aware of, but if you are starting to be aware of how you are being programmed and how you program yourself throughout the day, you can reprogram yourself for success, okay? Another thing that I wanna tell you is that you can start stacking up habits, okay? So as you are learning code, you know, one of the biggest issues that I see with people is that they stop taking care of themselves, they stop working out, they stop, you know, doing the right things. Maybe you've never worked out before, maybe you're a fatty, that's fine, but you can change it and you should change it. Maybe you are eating bad because you don't have time because you are coding all the time and whatever, that's bad because you still want to become a top 10% man or woman, a top 1% man or woman, and you cannot just have, you know, a keyboard and a trackpad and a laptop and that's it and you are, you are good to go. No, you have to work on everything. So you have to work on your finances, on your wealth, or that's the same thing, health, relationships. And then you need to figure out like, how can I systematically change my life in a way where I can improve all those things at the same time? Because if you work on your money, which is programming, you can also work on your health, okay? So what I'm doing right now, I'm stacking different habits, okay? So I have a habit, I wake up, I'm not scrolling TikTok anymore, but I'm going and taking a shower, then I'm going to the gym and straight after the gym, I record a video for YouTube and then I'm doing something for the program and I'm doing some other stuff with the team and whatever. I'm stacking up habits. Actually, let me tell you what I was doing before. So I was coming home from work, okay? I was straight away opening my laptop, same as I'm doing right now with my business. I'm opening my laptop and I started coding or watching a tutorial, whatever. I was doing an activity that was related to coding. Okay, simple. And then right after I finished, let's say after four hours or five hours of work, okay, because I was taking it seriously, I was putting a lot of time in, then I was smoking with, with my buddy, and then we were playing FIFA wasted, okay? That's what I was doing. And that was my reward for doing the work. I wasn't smoking before, and I wasn't playing FIFA before, even though he was tempting me all the time. I was doing it straight after so I can create this program, okay, in my brain. Work, code, reward. I was doing the same thing every day, every day, every day. It was like default, I didn't have to think about it. And in the morning, what I was doing, it was like even better than this. I was waking up sometimes at like 5 a.m. or something like that, because I had to go to the coffee shop. And then in the morning, I was doing 100 or 200 push-ups. I don't remember if 100 or 200, probably 100. I was doing five, set, five sets of 20 reps. That all, was all I was doing. And I was trying to eat some clean food and whatnot, but I was trying to touch on all these things, okay? It was like a program, every day the same. You don't have to have an exciting life in order to be living a good life. You have to have a systematic life to, where you can produce and create yourself as you want. Anyway, that's the video for today. I hope you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.